frog cloak. For this project, you're going to need some material, scissors, something to mark your fabric, so a marker or chalk, a measuring tape, and either a bit of extra fabric for a tie or some sort of button for the closure. And then of course you can use your sewing machine or grab a needle and thread. So you're going to want to lay your fabric out and fold it not once, but twice. This means you will then have some sort of shape where a corner will be two layers of folded fabric and another with four layers. Then across from that will be a corner where you want to decide on your length and mark the length out from there all across from one side to the other to create a circle. This is the same method as you would do with a circle skirt just like in my royal core video. Putting it in a half circle form cut straight down the middle before taking a two to three inch cut out of that initial far corner. This is where you would usually do your waist measurement but since it's a cloak it is going to be for your neck and shoulders. The hood kind of varies on how large you want it to be but the general shape is a long straight edge, a shorter straight edge at the bottom, and then a gradual larger to smaller curve at the top. Just make sure that the bottom edge is the same exact amount as the cut from the top of the cloak so that they match and you can sew them in properly. Last thing to cut are the eyes, so just cut some ovals with a flat base in whatever size you would like. For the sewing, the eyes, it's just putting them good side to good side and sewing around the perimeter, excluding that flat edge so that you can turn them right side out. For the hood, it's putting the two pieces good side to good side and sewing all the way around that curve, excluding the front flat edge and the bottom. In the cloak, you'll just need to hem everything. Once each piece is individually done, it's just a matter of attaching them. So like I said, this is where that good measuring comes in so that the hood attaches to the neck of the cloak properly. Attach those two with either a normal or French seam depending on your fabric. And then the eye placement is up to you whether you want them farther back, more to the front, in the center or more out to the sides. Once I had attached the eyes though, I just cut out some circles of black material and did a felling stitch to attach those with some embroidery thread. The last thing you have to do is add some sort of closure. Like I said, you can do a tie or you can choose a button, make a buttonhole with your machine or by hand, and then hand sew the button or hook to the other side to finish it up. frogs. There are two different ones I'm going to show you how to make. So grab some material and fold it in half. The first one is just a super simple oval shape with some eyes, also being oval shapes with flat bases. The second will be sort of a bird's eye view frog shape, so all four legs in the head. And then later on you're going to want to make some pieces that are half of this but a little bit extended to go vertically. Cut all of those pieces out so that for the oval one you have two oval pieces and then four eye pieces, two for either side. And for the smaller one you're again going to have that flat base piece and then two pieces that are mirrors of either side but slightly extended in the middle for both. For the oval more pillow type one the sewing is super easy. Do the same for the eyes that you did on the cloak sewing all the way around except that flat edge flipping them right side out but then you're going to want to take your main oval pieces and good side to good side put those eyes in between the layers with that raw edge pointing out. You're then going to pin those down and sew all the way around that oval excluding just a tiny bit so that you can flip it right side out and those eyes will be seamlessly sewn in. Grab some scrap fabric or stuffing and then you can ladder stitch that close. The details are just some white and black pieces I cut out and then using embroidery floss I hand stitch them all in. For the smaller one the construction is pretty easy. You're just going to want to lay one of the half pieces down before threading your needle and stitching all the way around excluding that center seam. You can do this by machine and sew it so that you can later flip it right side out. I just thought the exposed stitches gave kind of a different look that I don't often do. I did it to both sides, again leaving that center seam open so that you kind of have this little pouch. Stuff that with whatever you choose and then close up that center seam. You can add fabric eyes, button eyes, or beads. I chose the latter and just attached those with a few stitches, sticking my needle through the other side and cutting that thread so you didn't see any of it. On a whim, I decided Mr. Frog did indeed need a hat, so I grabbed some scrap material and whipped up this sort of bucket cowboy hat, but this is of course optional. Frog 
decor rings. For this, I decided to use the same technique I showed in my last video, my indie core video, and hand make some paper beads. You just do this by cutting strips of fabric in either rectangles or triangles before rolling and gluing every layer together to create a bead. I did a ton of these tiny ones because I wanted it to be like small ring beads, but you can obviously just use conventional beads if you would like. And after you have your actual supplies, the process is to grab your wire, preferably pretty thin jewelry wire, and make a loop at the end that has an extended tail on it to go up against the rest of the wire. That way, when you string your beads on, you can put it over both of those pieces and that loop will be secure. String a few of your base color beads on and then do one black one before adding three green ones. You're then gonna wanna take your wire and loop it to the left and through just that black bead before pulling it through. That creates the eye of the frog, the black being the pupil and the green being the lid above it. Do another three to space in between the two eyes and add one black before three green, doing the same exact loop method once again. Add beads to almost the end and take your last tail of wire, put it through that loop we first made and then bring it back over, wrapping it around the beads till it disappears. You can also use this sort of one bead then three end loop method for a mushroom design if you'd like. So it can be used for a few different things, but it's a really easy process and I think it's such a cute and simple design. 